Contraception, it's something that combines human biology, medicine, and informed choices. But do you know exactly how these methods work inside the body? In today's video, we'll explore the science behind the most common contraceptive methods, how they prevent pregnancy. Now, before we begin, this is for educational purposes only. For personal health decisions, always speak with a qualified healthcare professional. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share and check out my other videos on science. Contraception means deliberately preventing pregnancy. Biologically, pregnancy begins when a fertilized egg implants into the lining of the uterus. So contraception works in one or more of three main ways. 1. Preventing gamete release or development, meaning the egg or sperm never matures or leaves the reproductive organs. 2. Preventing fertilization, stopping sperm from meeting the egg. 3. Preventing implantation, so even if fertilization happens, pregnancy doesn't begin. One method of preventing fertilization is called fertility awareness, also known as natural family planning. This involves tracking the menstrual cycle and avoiding intercourse during the fertile window. Here's the science. The egg, once released, survives about 24 to 48 hours. Sperm can live inside the female reproductive tract for up to 5 days. This means the fertile window is longer than most people expect, typically several days before ovulation and a couple of days after. Some people track fertility by monitoring signs like changes in cervical mucus or basal body temperature. But it's important to note, with typical use, this method has a pregnancy rate of 10 to 20 percent per year. Another natural approach is coitus interruptus, or withdrawal. The idea is to remove the penis from the vagina before ejaculation. But here's why it's unreliable. Pre-ejaculatory fluid can contain sperm from a previous ejaculation. A split-second lapse in timing can release tens of millions of sperm. So while it may reduce the chance of pregnancy, it's far less effective than other methods. Barrier methods prevent sperm from reaching the egg by physically blocking their path. Male condoms are thin sheaths, usually latex, worn over the penis to collect semen. They're also the only contraceptive method that helps reduce the risk of sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. However, they're not 100% protective. Female condoms, or vaginal pouches, are worn inside the vagina. Diaphragms are dome-shaped caps that fit over the cervix. They're often used with spermicidal gels or foams to kill sperm that may slip past the barrier. With correct and consistent use, these methods can reduce pregnancy risk to less than 10% per year. The intrauterine device, IUD, is one of the most effective reversible contraceptives, with a pregnancy rate of 1% or less. It's a small device inserted into the uterus by a healthcare provider. Copper IUD prevents pregnancy by making it difficult for sperm to reach and fertilize the egg, and by potentially inhibiting implantation. The copper acts as a spermicide and also triggers a localized inflammatory response in the uterus, which can interfere with sperm motility and viability. Hormonal IUD prevents pregnancy by thickening cervical mucus, making it harder for sperm to enter the uterus, thinning the uterine lining, endometrium, and potentially stopping ovulation. Both types make it much harder for fertilization or implantation to occur. Hormonal contraceptives often come in pill form and contain synthetic estrogen and progestin. They work by mimicking the body's natural negative feedback system in the ovarian cycle. They prevent the hypothalamus from releasing GnRH. Without GnRH, the pituitary gland doesn't release FSH and LH. Without LH, ovulation doesn't occur. The low estrogen dose also prevents follicles from developing. In short, no egg is released, so fertilization can't happen. Progestin-only methods, like the mini pill or injections, work by slowing ovulation, changing the uterine lining, and thickening cervical mucus. All these make implantation less likely. For people seeking a permanent solution, there's sterilization. Tubal ligation closes or removes sections of the fallopian tubes or oviduct, preventing eggs from traveling from the ovary into the oviduct, where fertilization normally occurs. Since the egg never enters the oviduct, sperm cannot reach it, 
so fertilization is blocked. Vasectomy cuts and seals the vas deferens, so sperm can't enter semen. These procedures don't affect hormone levels, menstrual cycles, or sexual function. Reversal is sometimes possible, but success is not guaranteed. Contraception is more than just birth control, it's about understanding biology, health, and personal choice. Whether you prefer temporary, reversible, or permanent methods, knowing how they work can help you make informed decisions. If you enjoyed learning about the biology of contraception, hit like, subscribe, share and check out my other videos on science. Thank you for your attention. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop being curious about the science of life.